Clinical depression, as we have mentioned in previous videos in this series, is becoming a major problem for a growing number of individuals, and society, and the economy in the Western world. While there are medical treatments that can assist, there also are some things we can do as individuals to reduce the frequency and impact of this modern plague. In this video, we shall examine the role of diet. Diet is not something that immediately comes to mind when we think of the problem of mental depression. However, several recent studies published in scientific journals are pointing to a connection between the type of food we eat and depression. A study published in the American Journal of Psychiatry found a link between a modern Western diet high in processed foods, sugars, and refined grains, and higher incidence of depression among women. A balanced and less processed diet was found to lower the incidence. After adjustments for age, socioeconomic status, education, and health behaviors, a traditional dietary pattern characterized by vegetables, fruit, meat, fish, and whole grains was associated with lower odds for major depression or dysthemia and for anxiety disorders. The link between some manifestations of depression and diet resulted in the development of a field of medicine known as nutritional psychiatry. The brain is one of the most active metabolic zones in the human body and needs a continuous flow of nutrients to complete the massive number of functions it must achieve constantly. A poor diet may not provide the nutrients necessary to produce neurotransmitters and may provoke symptoms of anxiety or depression. Unfortunately, most people reach for sweeter or higher saturated fat content processed foods when struggling emotionally. In 2008, an article appeared in the Indian Journal of Psychiatry, which discussed some landmark work being done in the area of nutritional psychiatry. The authors identify the reasons why depression can be caused or enhanced by some nutritional deficiencies and what foods should be considered when trying to develop a diet that will improve one's ability to avoid or recover from episodes of depression. A well-balanced diet of low-processed foods will help relieve the burden of depression, along with minimizing stimulants such as caffeine and alcohol. They write, Depression is more typically thought of as strictly biochemical-based or emotionally rooted. On the contrary, nutrition can play a key role in the onset as well as the severity and duration of depression. Many of the easily noticeable food patterns that precede depression are the same as those that occur during depression. These may include poor appetite, skipping meals, and a dominant desire for sweet foods. They go on to explain how diets deficient in essential vitamins, minerals, and omega-3 fatty acids can effectively trigger or enhance depressive moods. They show how the research base demonstrates that in many cases, nutritional deficiency is a factor in depression. Recent evidence suggests a link between low levels of serotonin and suicide. It is implicated that lower levels of this neurotransmitter can, in part, lead to an overall insensitivity to future consequences, triggering risky and impulsive and aggressive behaviors which may culminate in suicide, the ultimate act of inwardly directed impulsive aggression. But the authors show supplements containing amino acids that are converted to neurotransmitters can have a positive effect. Virtually all researchers involved in the study of depression admit there's a significant increase in those suffering from nutrition-induced depression. While certainly not the only cause, fad dietary practices may well be partially at fault, as can be witnessed from the findings in the report. Let's look at some of the key nutrients that can help reduce depressive episodes. Carbohydrates. Consumption of diets low in carbohydrate tends to precipitate depression. Since the production of brain chemicals serotonin and tryptophan that promote the feeling of well-being 
is triggered by carbohydrate-rich foods. It is suggested that low glycemic index foods such as some fruits and vegetables, whole grains, pasta, etc., are more likely to provide a moderate but lasting effect on brain chemistry, mood, and energy level than the high GI foods. In other words, the fat of low-carbohydrate diets may inadvertently be contributing to increased depressive episodes by reducing levels of materials to manufacture critical neurotransmitters. Proteins. Proteins are the building blocks of our tissue and are composed of amino acids. The body will manufacture 12 amino acids, but the other eight that are required must be supplied through diet. Unfortunately, not all diets will provide all eight required amino acids. A high quality protein diet contains all essential amino acids. Foods rich in high quality protein include meats, milk and other dairy products and eggs. Plant proteins such as beans, peas and grains may be low in one or two essential amino acids. Two amino acids not available in appropriate quantity in plants need to be included in the diet to avoid possible serious effects on the mood of the individual. The neurotransmitter dopamine is made from the amino acid triacine and the neurotransmitter serotonin is made from tryptophan. If there is a lack of any of these two amino acids, there will not be enough synthesis of respective neurotransmitters, which is associated with low mood and aggression in the patients. Fatty acids. Brain health is dependent on the raw material from which much of it is manufactured and maintained. Lipids. Omega-3 fatty acids form part of this group. Note the following. The brain is one of the organs with the highest level of lipids, or fats. Brain lipids, composed of fatty acids, are structural constituents of membranes. It has been estimated that gray matter contains 50% fatty acids that are polyunsaturated in nature. About 33% belong to the omega-3 family and hence are supplied through diet. One of the blood factors that is sometimes controlled to avoid heart attacks is the lipoprotein known as plasma cholesterol. This is composed of two types of cholesterol, one of which is particularly problematic in terms of arterial clogging. Both are fatty acids. It has been noted, however, that a side effect of lowering these levels can be depression. An important trend has been observed from the findings of some recent studies that lowering plasma cholesterol by diet and medications increases depression. This tends to demonstrate the importance of fatty acids, particularly omega-3, in brain health and in keeping a healthy mood. Hence, a diet that contains fish high in omega-3 fats is healthy for the brain and mood. Vitamins and Minerals Recent research has also confirmed the importance of certain vitamins and minerals in keeping brain function healthy and having a balanced supply of neurotransmitters. These include vitamins B1, B2, B6 and B12, an insufficient quantity of which can trigger depression or even accelerate dementia. It has also been noted that if the B vitamin folate is low, depression can result. It has been observed that patients with depression have blood folate levels which are, on an average, 25% lower than healthy controls. Low levels of folate have also been identified as a strong predisposing factor of poor outcome with antidepressant therapy. There are also numerous minerals that are required in our regular diet to ensure good brain health and the maintenance of a stable mood. Various sources have looked at the question of diet and depression and a number of recommended diets are available to assist with this aspect of mental health. Based upon research such as that described earlier, dietary guidelines for dealing with depression tend to agree on some basic points. 
a diet supporting brain development and maintenance, and which will help to some degree in mitigating depression, will include protein, fish like herring, mackerel, tuna, which include omega-3 fatty acids, chicken and turkey, they contain tryptophan for making serotonin, low-fat dairy including yogurt, moderate amounts of lean beef, nuts as well as beans, peas and soy products, complex carbohydrates like whole grains, fruit, vegetables and legumes, simple Carbohydrates high in sugar, like cakes, cookies, and donuts, are not helpful. Complex carbohydrates can have a calming effect on the mind. Antioxidants. Foods that are antioxidants are often vitamin and mineral rich and help the body control free radicals that can cause cell damage, especially to nerve cells. These include vitamin A or beta carotene, apricots, broccoli, cantaloupe, carrots, collards, peaches, pumpkins, spinach, sweet potato, vitamin C, found in blueberries, broccoli, grapefruit, kiwi, oranges, peppers, potatoes, strawberries, and tomatoes, vitamin E, found in nuts and seeds, vegetable oils, wheat germ from whole grain, B vitamins, this is found in a Mediterranean diet, abundant in green and other vegetables, fruits, and nuts. These can be high in B vitamins, including the critical folate B12. If one is prone to depressive episodes, one may be wise to avoid or minimize alcohol and caffeine. These can interfere with sleep, which is often a challenge for the person fighting depression, and can interfere with both mood and motivation. It is the belief of modern medical science that a nutritious diet composed of what is stated above will contribute to both a healthy weight and a reduced incidence of depression and its serious side effects. If you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe. And for more content like this, please visit our website at tomorrowsworldviewpoint.org.